105.7, the hot jersey's home of classic rock. Dr. Phil, thank you for tuning in this afternoon. And uh, our Halloween gift to you, in mere moments, Floyd of the Worlds. If you haven't caught it the last few years, it's really amazing. It's over two hours of deep Pink Floyd cuts and a lot of the songs you know and love, mixed together with the original 1938 broadcast of War of the Worlds when, you know, Martians landed in New Jersey from Orson Welles. Now, what we've done is that we've chopped up the show, playing clips of the show here and there, mixed together with the Pink Floyd music that goes with what's happening in the program. And no other radio station in America attempts to do this but your buddies here at the Hawk. And it starts in just a few minutes. And as payment, we'll be happy to take your Snickers bars off your hands. All right? Just send them to us. But thank you for listening this afternoon. My work is done. Alex and Floyd of the Worlds is next here on 105.7 The Hog. But as my favorite character from The Sopranos, Johnny Sack, would say, I'm done here. See you. 105.7 The Hawk, Jersey's home of classic rock, is WCHR-FM Manahawkin. I'm Alex the Fox that rocks on this Halloween night. I hope you're having a good night so far. Taking the kiddies trick-or-treating. We've got a special treat for you on The Hawk tonight. It is Floyd of the World. Two hours of commercial-free Pink Floyd deep cuts to... War of the Worlds from the original broadcast all night tonight. So a couple hours of just Pink Floyd with clips of War of the Worlds. You're going to love it. Here it is. Halloween night on Jersey's home of classic rock, 105.7 The Hawk. We know now that in the early years of the 20th century, this world was being watched closely by intelligences greater than man's. We know now that as human beings busied themselves about their various concerns, they were scrutinized and studied. Yet across an immense ethereal gulf, minds that are to our minds as ours are to the beasts in the jungle, intellects vast, cool, and unsympathetic, regarded this earth with envious eyes and slowly and surely drew their plans against us. On this particular evening, October 30th, the Crosley Service estimated that 32 million people were listening in on radios.
ladies and gentlemen, we interrupt our program of dance music to bring you a special bulletin from the Intercontinental Radio News. At 20 minutes before 8 central time, Professor Farrell of the Mount Jennings Observatory, Chicago, Illinois, reports observing several explosions of incandescent gas occurring at regular intervals on the planet Mars. The spectroscope indicates the gas to be hydrogen and moving toward the Earth with enormous velocity. Professor Pearson of the observatory at Princeton confirms Farrell's observation and describes the phenomenon as, quote, like a jet of blue flame shot from a gun, unquote. We now return you to the music of Ramon Raquello playing for you in the Meridian Room of the Park Plaza Hotel situated in downtown New York. <laughs> 